Hampshire took me seriously right from the beginning. A nice draw for Carly Fiorina at the Hollis Pharmacy on Friday. As she notes, without a big bag of money, she has managed to stay right with the Republican pack. I'm tied for fifth here in New Hampshire with a bunch of governors who were on that other debate stage last night. A night after being on the so-called undercard of the Thursday night debate in South Carolina, Fiorina offered her take on what occurred on the main stage, I mean, particularly the back and forth between the Republican frontrunner Donald Trump and the surging Ted Cruz. Well, what I saw in the second debate was a nasty fight between two insiders trying to cast themselves as outsiders, but that fight had everything to do with their power and their position, nothing to do with the American people. Well, we thought it was unfair what the National Party did. They excluded one of the main candidates in the race. Not invited to the main debate stage for the first time this cycle, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul declined a seat at what some have deemed as the kiddies table on Thursday. In a form of protest, Paul says the National Party is damaging the selection process by choosing the participants with the use of a national formula instead of the polls in states who will offer their opinions first. The elections are state by state, and they're one state by state. So I, I really object to the party using a, a heavy hand or an iron fist on this thing because really we've worked very hard for two years, taking the, our message directly to the voters, and it's unfair for them to try to keep us out of the debate. Now, both Fiorina and Paul will stay busy tonight. Fiorina has a town hall in Milford starting at 6.30. Paul has a town hall in Hollis. That one starts at 7, and both have several events planned around the state tomorrow as well.